forgive an old woman, but I forgot your name. What was it again? Would you mind getting my book from the sleeping quarters? It would spare my bones the trip. It's called Great Voyages. I've read this old book many times. Seems I find something new each read. And no matter how many times I've read it, it never fails to get me excited for adventure. Are you the adventuring type? Ah, after my own heart. I've had a lifetime of it, believe it or not. If you're sticking around in Eastshade, maybe I'll tell you all about it sometime. Captain Elona told me we'll be landing in Lindo shortly. I think we're all antsy to arrive. I've never been to East Shed. I've heard wonderful things about it. Did you know that the people there used to cover their mouths with garments? I've heard that since gone out of style. Quite a strange fashion fad if you ask me. As long as Ishe doesn't rock like this ship, I will love it. It's the quaint little seaside town we'll be landing in. It's one of the many gems of the country I hear. <sighs> Almost there. That did not sound good.
You've woken. Do you remember what happened? I'm glad your memory's intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship sank. One doesn't last long in water this cold. From what I've heard, you were the only passenger misplaced during the wreck. The others are safe in town. East Shade, of course. Specifically, my home. I usually don't take visitors, but in this case I can hardly blame you for floating in unannounced. Only your reason. Don't forget to take it when you leave. Even the frigid tide couldn't bring you to part from it. It must mean a great deal to you. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just up the path. On your way, though.
you're on the ship. What happened to you? Oh, thank goodness. We thought you were lost. Oh, what a horrible experience. I'm so glad to see you're safe. What brought you to Eastshade anyway? Very adventurous of you. I came to visit my family. You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. This flavor is a bit strong for some people, but the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Our captain is in a terrible state. I suppose that's to be expected. She won't even leave the dock. Perhaps it would console her to know that we all survived. You should speak with her. I lost most of my possessions too, and nothing has washed up. My family lives here in Lindo, so I'll be staying with them. If you find that night is coming and you're in need of a place to stay, you should check the inn. You'll be comfortable there. It gets cold around here at night. You shouldn't be out without a proper coat. After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. Are you wondering about anything else? Are you wondering about anything else? actually fly if I put my mind to it. My dad says that I can do anything as long as I put my mind to it. my wings! Hey, are you... Hey, you 
you have an easel? Are you an artist? So am I. Do you want to see what I made? Look! It took all day. But I want to make my next one even better. What should I do? But I don't know how to make a canvas. All right! You're a nice artist after all. I know where some boards are. Follow me. Did you see when it ran a reef? I've never seen anything like that. Terrible waste of a good ship. And it went down so quickly. It's amazing anyway. Now we just need the fabric. I don't know where to find that. Maybe we should ask someone. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. There's a reef surrounding the bay and that's what does it. It shouldn't slow down traffic too much though. I'm just glad you all made it. I work on the docks almost every day. If you ever have any questions about Lindau, come on over and I'll do my best to help. Lindau is a nice port town, although we don't have much to export anymore, aside from bloom sacks. And most of our tourism these days are just people passing through on the way in or on the way out of Naba. Fabric. We go through loads of it. Here. These lengths are defective for shipping, but will perhaps serve your purposes. So we have everything we need now, right? We can make a canvas from this stuff? Could you paint something? I want to watch a real artist.
of still feeling moody? feeling moody. Wow, thanks! I'm going to be a moody artist like you when I grow up. Since came to Lindau with strange spices and soft fabrics. They haven't been back in a long time, though. We mainly get shipments of teas, grains of fabrics, and headwear of the latest fashion, of course. In any case, there's always lots of work to do around here. You've survived too. That means only one of us has been lost at sea. Who? Only the most important one of us all, Annabelle! Doesn't sound. I see. She carries you across the oceans and you don't even learn her name. Annabelle! My ship! My wooden, sea-loving daughter! <sighs> Killed by the damned reefs when we came into this miserable town. Kind of you to say so. Kindness does nothing to bring sweet Annabelle back to me. Off with you. Trade your life for hers. It's really a terrible place to be stranded. Ship murdering town. Oh, poor ship. Such a good ship she was. Now leave me be. Watch your step there. Lots of moving boxes around here. You looking a little waterlogged. Guessing you just came in off of that ship. I think you even got some seaweed hanging from your ear. Yeah, we all have those days, right? I mean, uh, my dad got in a shipwreck once. He wasn't as lucky as you, though. <laughs> Oh no, he's, he's, he's fine, just lost his leg is all. Now he gets to order us around even more. So, you'll probably be exploring all over, right? Would you do me a huge favor? My brother loves raspberry-filled pastries, loves them, he can't get enough, but raspberries don't grow here. So, he puts in an overseas order every two weeks. It's crazy, really. Now the thing he hates is grape-filled Pastries. I, I mean, we all hate him, obviously, but he hates him even more. He'd destroy him all if he could, you know? He once saw an old lady eating some, and he grabbed the box and threw it in the ocean. It was the craziest thing. Okay, so what I did was fill his raspberry pastry bag with, uh, <laughs> grape pastries. Can you imagine what he's gonna do when he eats one? <laughs> He'll go insane! <laughs> he's always suspicious of me doing something like this, though, so it would be perfect. If you could play along and act like you're a uh, delivery person, 
So, what do you say? Will you deliver them to him? Perfect. You gotta play the part, though. Really make them think they're raspberry pastries. <laughs> This'll be great. Here, take these. My brother lives over in Nava, so I'll meet you there in a few days, all right? I'll probably be near the bakery. You just come find me, and I'll point my brother out to you. You must be the traveler from the wrecked ship. Oh, good. Ingolf needs some visitors every now and then. I wish he would spend more time in town, but he'd rather be alone. Yes, I run the inn. I always keep a full stock of soup and tea to refresh weary travelers. When I was young, I traveled all over this island. I'd love to adventure again one day. It's a bit more calm than Nava. I think it's quite a nice place to relax. I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes. Certainly. I feel so adventurous staying here in Lindo. I live in Nava, but sometimes I just long for the primitive lifestyle Lindo offers. How humorous you are! I like that in a person. Some may find the story of my journey utterly inspiring. Nothing could have prepared me for the muddy paths, the unbearable heat. I even had to eat outside. Overall, it was a dreadful experience, but I braved through it all.
Hmm. I'm guessing you're a bit inexperienced in travel safety. Perhaps you should consult me for advice before your next journey. I so dearly wish my friends could see how adventurous I've become. I do enjoy this exciting new lifestyle I've adopted. Did I ever tell you about my journey to Lindo? Hmm, true. Perhaps Epic Saga is a more fitting description. Say, you do some sort of odd things, don't you? Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveler I've become. What stunning taste you have. Be sure to capture every bit of my elegance. Have you decided you'd like to paint a bold adventurer? Have you decided you'd like to paint a bold adventurer? What stunning taste you have. Be sure to capture every bit of my elegance. Nika, is that you? You must be one of the tourists. Terrible about the sinking and all that. Glad you're okay, yada yada, etc. Uh, but will you go get Nika, the innkeeper? I need help. It's stuck, obviously. Now, would you be so kind as to go get Nika for me? I'll wait here. Ugh. I'll just wait here. I'll wear this jug while I wait. Ugh. about much else. Hmm, I wonder if she'll ever recover. How have you been? The traveling artist. Goodness, that painting of the eclipse is lovely. Is it for me? I bet Sandra put you up to this. Ah, oh, this is lovely. You're too kind. 
I'm going to hang this in the room upstairs. Oh, of course he does. And what is it this time? Again? That's like the eighth time. All right, then, we'd better go help. Really stuck, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty stuck. I think what we need here is some soap. Would you be a dear and fetch some soap from a means house? It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. Would you be a dear and fetch some soap from a means house? It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. you, traveller? Soap? Well, certainly. May I ask why? He did. Hmm. Is he a friend of yours? Ah, well, I shouldn't gossip then. He's just such a peculiar man. And you know what? I think Lenny is going to have some real issues when he grows up. Well, you've seen him. The boy is unhinged. And not just that. I've been hearing a lot of yelling coming from that house. I think it's quite a broken home. You know, I imagine you'll be traveling all around this island, being a tourist and all. Perhaps when you get to Nova, you should let the sheriff know about Isan. I think it's only right, you know, for Lenny. Well, it's a small town. If word ever got back to Isan that I was the one that reported him, things might be a little awkward, being such a close neighbor and all. Of course, you're right. I suppose it's a bit selfish of me to worry about a little awkwardness when it's a matter so serious. I'll head over to Nava as soon as I get the chance. Right. Well, here's some soap. Safe travels. You have the soap. Well, let's try this thing then. Here, let me have that soap. Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Thanks for getting Nika. Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Beeswax! I mean? That nosy, stuck-up, goody, two-talon... Uh, 
If you had to deal with what I have to deal with. She just doesn't like me because I'm not posh like her. This whole town is stuck up. Them and all their judging eyes. You know what? Get out of my house. You're just like everyone else in this town. Coming in here and telling me I'm a bad father? Get out! Easy does it. Do you know your name? Okay, just have to check. Standard protocol when someone gets hit in the head like that. And do you remember what happened? Isan said you provoked him, is that true? So, why did he punch you? Listen, I think I know what's going on here. As an official, I'm obliged to tell you, in the future, in situations like these, never confront the parent, ever. It's most likely they will deny and defend, and no good can come of that. If you suspect something, report it. Don't take it into your own hands. You stay clear of Isan now, and he'll stay clear of you. I'll be on my way now. We've got it handled. Like I said, you two just stay out of each other's way. Actually, he hasn't heard a fly until now. You're the first person he ever got physical with, and seeing as you were in his house, as far as I gather, without invitation, I'm not going to be so quick to call him dangerous. Like I said, we have it handled. Now, I've got to get back to Nava. Be safe, newcomer. You don't look like you're from around here. I'm the sheriff of the island. Glad to meet you. Anything I can help with? Yes, extremely busy. It's not all about crimes and capers, though it is about that too. Anything else? Anything else? In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, I'm your driver. My ox is strong, no? You don't look like you're from around here. I'm the sheriff of the island. Glad to meet you. Yeah, anything else? Well, hello there, newcomer, are you? Trying to get across the bridge, I guess. I hope you've got the glowstones for it. It's not free, you know. The rule is you pay once and you can use it as much as you'd like. Oh, mate. I'm a fisher. I catch fish, I cook fish, I sell fish. You know, but mostly what I do here is fish. Sometimes I like to visit town, but not very often. What's all that you're carrying? Looks heavy. Are you some kind of painter? Hmm. You know what? Maybe there's a way you can get the ghost stones out of me after all. There's a gazebo in Lindau. Real pretty spot. Maybe you've been there. Anyway, I'd like a painting of that view. 
The gazebo is easy to find. It's just behind the inn. And I want the painting from the gazebo, not of the gazebo. It's the view, not the building, if you get my meaning. Damn fish aren't biting today. If you're still willing to paint that gazebo view for me, remember, the gazebo is just behind the inn. See you around. Great viewpoint, isn't it? Look, the eclipse is starting. Not a bad show, right? Ha! <laughs> you couldn't get me out on the oceans for anything. And especially not in a rickety wooden ship. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. Don't worry about payment. Shipwreck survivors stay free of charge. Take care now. You look well. It's a bit more calm than other. I think it's quite a nice place to relax. I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes. Certainly.
Oh my. That painting. It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I simply must have it. This is wonderful. My friends will be so jealous of me. I think I'll start a collection of paintings just like this. Can you imagine? An entire wall filled with paintings of me. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Certainly. The salty sea. Take care now. If you're still willing to paint that gazebo view for me, remember, the gazebo is just behind the inn. Damn fish aren't biting today. If you're still willing to paint that gazebo view for me, remember, the gazebo is just behind the inn. See you around.
There's nothing like a good book on a day such as this. Actually, books are the perfect way to spend any day. Do you enjoy reading? I'm glad to hear that. Perhaps I can share my favorite books with you sometime. My favorite books are the ones that inspire me to write myself. How about you? I see. We creatives, me a writer, you a painter, we've got to stay inspired. Best way I've found is to drink many, many cups of tea. Always gives me a boost. Speaking of writing, if you find any feathers around here, I'd happily buy them. I'm constantly losing my quills. I figure three should do it. Oh, wonderful. Hopefully this is enough to last me a while. Thank you very much. I do hate scouring the forest floor for these. If you find any more, I'll pay you one close to a piece. Is there something else? Lindau used to be right on the river until a mudslide destroyed most of the town. After that, the townspeople relocated to the coast. Many of the folk from old Lindau moved there after the mudslide. The library there is of a historic note. That building was part of the original town of Lindau. I've heard a ghost has taken up residence inside. If you're interested in an adventure, it's a lovely spot for a nighttime stroll. Well, looky here, you've gone and painted the gazebo view. Are you willing to sell it? Oh, how about that? Got myself something fancy. Damn fish unbiting today. Thanks again for that painting. See you around.
father was a fisher of these oceans, so I've been out on the sea plenty of times. I could never be a fisher, though. Sea monsters. Lindau is a nice port town, although we don't have much to export anymore. Aside from Bloomsacks. And most of our tourism these days are just people passing through, on the way in or on the way out of Nava. I remember playing in there as a kid. The ocean looks beautiful from the top. I wish it wasn't locked up. Ah, the travelling artist. Towers like that were used to send fire signals to Nava, but we don't need to do that anymore. It's a bit eerie, but late the other night, I thought I saw lights coming from inside the tower. Oh, it's probably just some kids playing a prank. Certainly. Again for the canvas. That place is haunted. Every time I go there, I hear weird sounds. And some nights the windows light up. It's kind of creepy. I'm not scared of ghosts, though. 
He's some really old guy. I'm pretty sure.